Good morning, everybody. We are going to be vlogging again today. Not because I'm restarting the $100 series. I'm still here in Lebanon for the next, like, 10 days. But because I am a full-time content creator now, which means that I cannot go 10 days without making videos because I need this money to eat. So, I'm just going to vlog. We will definitely be starting the series again once I get to Greece, though. So, oh, I found a really cool pizza place. Let's go get some food. First, we've got to grab the key because this is one of those places that... If you lock your key inside, you are just screwed. In America, we have something called zoning. That means that you'll have apartments and then businesses will be totally somewhere else. But here, not the case at all. Like you'll have apartments there, you'll have stores and stores and then houses. Everything is just blended together. And I like this a lot more. I feel like it's a lot more efficient. But it turns out there is a place right behind my apartment that sells fantastic food. Uh, Perfect, thank you very much. So here we have tomatoes and here we have beef. This entire thing was $1.42. Um, I'm not sure if it's pizza or not. It looks like pizza. It's cut up like pizza, but maybe it's manchouy. What I found that I like to do with this is I'll take the tomatoes and I will stick them on top of one of the beef pizzas and I will eat it like this. Yeah, so that was less than $1.50 for that whole pizza. Now we're gonna head to the other side of my apartment complex. My apartment is right there. We're gonna head to this shop right here to get some drinks. Yes, diet. Fantastic, perfect, thank you very much. This was 68 cents for a large diet Pepsi. I want to show you guys something that I found the other day. Let's go on a little walk. We are on an overpass right now. But what I want to show you is this right here. Look at how long that sidewalk is. Look at that. We could go walk on that and it's completely unobstructed. Like, I would say it's a couple miles long at least. Ah, oh, I mean, look at that. Look at how long that is. I love this so much. Walking is my favorite thing to do. And finding these like really long stretches where there's nothing obstructing you is my favorite thing. Yesterday, while I was out and about, two separate groups of people recognized me from TikTok. The first one was in a gas station where I was just getting some food, and the second one was like at late midnight, I was getting orange juice. And you might think that's really cool. That happens everywhere I go, Turkey, Poland, Ukraine, I get recognized. And you think that's cool because you're like internationally recognized. But in my situation, it's very dangerous because of how vulnerable I am. If you don't recognize me, you think I'm just some like white tourist going out doing touristy things. But if you know that I'm on TikTok, if you know all of the stuff that I'm carrying, you know where I'm sleeping, like you know everything about me and it makes me a very uh, lucrative target to try to, to try to mug. And so anytime people recognize me, I always get scared. <coughs> the fact that it happened twice in one day means that I think that Lebanon is becoming increasingly dangerous for me to stay at. I think that I need to be a little bit more cautious if people are able to pick me up on the street that readily. And look at that, after two and a half miles of walking, we are right back where we started at the overpass. And now I'm back home. Probably go play more Zelda. Actually, I take that back. It is almost 2 p.m. I want food. So obviously, we're just gonna walk to the other side of my building and go to the same place we went to for breakfast. They are closed. The power outages aren't actually as bad as you would think here. They only last for like an hour at most, and it's only during like high peak demands, like when the sun is straight up and everybody's trying to run their air conditioners. So by the evening, all of the electricity is back on, and you can keep your produce cold if you've got like a reasonably well-sealed fridge. So it's not affecting businesses all that much. They're able to keep their food cold and fresh. It's pretty cool. Given that we can't get pizza, we are gonna come back to the pastry place. This was a dollar and 14 cents. We got two croissants and they're full of chocolate as you can see. And we got a really big donut that's also full of chocolate. A dollar and 14 cents. So I hear in Greece, uh, they have like a tax on the soda. So if I want to get like a Coke, it's going to cost like $2 for a Coke. Greece is going to be scary. But I do know that they just had a big financial crisis because of their debt. So things might be cheap there. You'd think that it's like a European country with like Athens and all of these places, it would be expensive. We'll have to find out. One of the biggest problems here in Lebanon is lack of accommodation. Um, if you go to a really big city like Warsaw in Poland, you've got lots of hostels and so the competition keeps it cheap. Here in Lebanon, there's no competition. So they're able to charge more. So I hope that when we go to Athens, even if like the food is more expensive, 
If we can get like half off on the accommodation, if we can get five or six dollar hostels, we'll last a good time there. Okay, let's take a crack at this big donut and see what we think about it. Definitely got a lot of bread. I like that. I like the, the abundance of bread here. It is full of chocolate like the croissants were, but this isn't hot. Those are like like melted chocolate in your mouth. This one is a little bit harder, like a, like a Hershey's bar. And now we are gonna walk to the other side of my apartment building and we're gonna pick up some Pepsi. <laughs> This was 65 cents. Apparently he had to raise the price since this morning because the inflation here is ridiculous. So this got slightly more expensive. But this is gonna go in the fridge. Yes. We don't actually have power in my apartment right now. So I'm just gonna watch YouTube that I have downloaded. Now that I'm back home, we're going to talk about the second thing that you need if you wanna get paid to travel. And that is a laptop. You don't need a MacBook if you want to be a content creator, but whatever laptop you end up choosing, there are a couple things that it needs to have. The first of which is it needs to be able to charge with USB type C. See this? I'm going to take my switch charger. I'm going to pop it in here. Come on. Everything is so much harder with one hand. God damn it. Boom. Charging. This means that I don't need to carry around like a big massive brick to be able to charge my laptop and a big massive brick. You want to be able to use the same cable and the same charger to charge everything because you've, you're space constrained. You're going to be on planes. You're going to be in really small spaces and you need to be able to keep things as tight as possible. The second thing is you need to have something that has really strong battery life because you're going to be filming on beaches. You're going to be filming out in places that have blackouts and you need something that can last for hours on end without stopping even if you don't have your power brick right here to be able to support it. And the third thing is it needs to be strong enough to be able to edit videos. You can't be using like a 2003 laptop, even if it's really cheap, because that's not gonna be able to edit 1080p and 4K videos to be able to upload them in time. The M1 MacBook Air is absolutely fantastic. I got this for $850. This is incredible battery life. It's super powerful. Use USB type C like this is I recommend everybody get this laptop. It is insane. And I'm a Windows guy, like I use Windows. That is how good this is, is it was able to convert me to use Mac. Um, here's a strange thought. So I've got a wallet and I've had it for a couple months now. It's fantastic, but it just doesn't get washed all that often. I've got this tablet cover for my tablet, but I think I could probably clog up my sink, use some soap. I think I could wash these things. Let's give it a shot. I ripped off a piece of this plastic bag right here. We're gonna stick that in the drain and woo. I am honestly just gonna like let it soak in here. Yeah. Oh wait, no, my little patchwork isn't holding the drain. God damn it. Drain or stop draining. Stop draining. God damn it. Well, I mean, I think I got it wet and I'm just gonna let it dry. You gotta remember that if you're trying to live like this, you've got to maintain the stuff that you have because you can't go out there buying new wallets and new stuff every time you go. You gotta maintain your shit. So hopefully it's clean. The tablet case is a little bit harder to clean, so I just scrubbed some soap on it and we're gonna let it soak in there after it's all sudsed up. So I am going to keep doing these daily vlogs because this is kind of my job now. Um, but I'm not going to add it to the $100 series. So you guys will only be able to find these if you're clicking the cards here and here. So, yeah. <laughs>